Tonight, Kuja's domestic violence victims spoke publicly about their personal abuse stories. They opened up to Orange County's Domestic Violence Commission with the hopes of improving the way the community deals with the issue. Eyewitness News attends Tim Barber, live now at the County Administration Building. And Tim, the goal tonight was to just highlight some of the issues the group's exploring. The commission here was not going to take any recommendations tonight. It just wanted to hear from the victims to see what they think about our justice system. He said, I'm going to kill you and told me over and over it was my day to die. Tonight, anonymous victims shared their heartbreaking stories in hopes of stopping domestic violence and voiced their frustrations to help improve the justice system. It was a long, scary, confusing journey through a legal system that is flawed. In 2011, 4,000 people filed domestic injunctions in Orange County alone. It's a startling number commission members are keeping in mind as they explore ways to improve victims' journeys from the first 911 call to what happens after their abusers are sentenced. I felt powerless as I spent hours upon hours in courtrooms. Andy Jimenez is not a victim, but his mom, Gladys Cabrera, was. She was murdered last October along with two others during a massacre at this Castleberry salon. The guy that unfortunately took my mom's life it's not like he had a clean record. Bradford Bomet was supposed to be in court for an injunction when he stormed the salon and opened fire on his ex-girlfriend, Marcia Santiago. The shooting happened in Seminole County, but everyone who testified tonight is hoping Orange County's commission will improve the system for everyone. And the commission here will present its findings on May 3rd. Of course, we're going to be there to let you know what those findings are. Reporting live in downtown Orlando tonight in Orange County, Tim Barber, Eyewitness News at 10.